Hey guys, it's Lizzie here, back again with another video, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you all of my art supplies. Now look at that. That's a lot of markers, isn't it? <laughs> and speaking of markers, let's show those first. My first set of markers was actually the Touch New markers, and in the corner you can see Artist Loft markers, which I actually bought individually. But anyway, the Touch New markers are the first set of markers that I've ever bought. It's a set of 80, I got it for like $35 on Amazon. And they're so pretty, I love them so much. They're like so many colors, I don't know. Right here you can see me comparing them to Artist Loft markers. And something I noticed about that blue that I just showed is that it actually says LCE blue instead of ice blue on both caps. I don't know if it's supposed to be ice blue, but I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> I don't know, that was just something I found. Um, right here you can see how I used to organize them. I actually just organized them so it's by color and it has like little boxes for each. But anyway, they're still really pretty and I like this shot, it's cute. <laughs> and the next one is my colored pencils, ooh! These are actually the exact same erasable Crayola colored pencils that I've had since probably second grade, I don't know. But anyway, I really like using these to sketch. Um, I really like how it works on watercolor paper, which I'm sketching with right now. I, they also erase really well. I found that they erase better than Prismacolor um, color pencils. I don't know, as you can see there, I was sketching 707 from a video game, Mystic Messenger. And here is where I put all my other pencils. Right here, I got this for probably my 12th birthday, I'm not really sure. And these are sketch markers, marker, marker, blah, blah. <laughs> they sketch pencils. And I use these actually quite a bit. It doesn't really look like it because I try to keep them all fancied up. And, I don't know, those ones are really good. I like those. Here is where I store my pro art sketch pencils. And that, those are really fancy as well. Look at that. It's so pretty. I love art supplies. And I also have Artist Loft colored pencils. Those are pretty good as well. Um, I usually use those to color, actually. But in this one right here, that is my case from middle school art class. Here is another um, sketch pencil thingy, and right there, ooh, there is Artisoft watercolor colored pencils. I also got those for my birthday, actually. And right there are the well-known Prismacolor colored pencils that are erasable as well. I definitely use those really often. <laughs> so I guess we can put those away now. Oh, look at that! Me sketching again, yay! And here are the mid- midliners. Midliners? Outliners? I call them outliners, but I hear people call them midliners? I don't really know. But this I got for my 13th birthday, and it's a shiny silver marker, obviously. And it is so pretty. I usually use it to draw stars and things whenever I use watercolor. There's a Bic marker, um, pretty basic, it's like a sharpie, but it's Bic. <laughs> yeah, I usually use this when I draw something big. Um, this is a uh, paper mate. Yes, I love the, that pen actually, I use it for school a lot. There's a sharpie pen, Those, that was my first um, outlining thingy, I use it often as well. This is a touch new pen, which I love actually, it came with the markers. I don't know what's about it. It's like a ballpoint 0.5 millimeter pen. I don't know. Here are the famous Micron pens. Oh, they're so pretty. Look at that. <laughs> I got three of those. I love using them. And once again, there is me sketching or outlining with the Micron pen mostly. I'm pretty sure I only use Micron pens to outline anyway. <laughs> I love how that drawing turned out. Oh my gosh. Oh, there, there's touch markers. Look at them. They're so pretty. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, 
here are the watercolors! Yay, I love these! This is my first set of watercolor right here. They are tubed, and at first I really didn't know how to use them tubed. I eventually figured it out. The tubes are so cute! I don't know what's about them, they're just adorable. I love it. <laughs> right here I have the Sakura Koi watercolors these are very popular I didn't know they were popular at first when I first got them it was probably about $30 at Michaels um, I, I cut out the swatch from the back of the box there's the mixing hand thing and look at that it's so pretty it came with that um, water brush as well which is super fun to use so pretty! Ah, I love I love how art supplies are just really pretty, especially when you like organize them all nice. I don't know, that's really nice. And here, ooh, look at that. This is my extra things, I guess. There was a palette. I haven't used that palette yet. Um, now you can see me struggle to open this. Oh, there we go. Yay, good job. <laughs> there is the chalk pastels. Ooh, I love using those for backgrounds especially. Uh, here are more palettes. Again, I've used these for watercolor. And there's the mix thinkles. And oh, there's another palette. Wow. <laughs> there are more big markers. Just in case I run out of the outlining things. There's white. White erasers. Yes. I like those. <laughs> um, stamp thing. And then a pencil sharpener. Then a needle eraser that I've never used or haven't used yet. There's a Buddha board. If you don't know what that is, you can like take a paintbrush, put water on it, and then when you paint on it, it eventually disappears. And I don't really know how I got this. It's just so cool. Now here you can see me um, putting water on the brush and just scribbling on it. It's so cool. I guess, like, I could use it um, to figure out just how I want to use a brush. I don't know. But look at that, it's so cool. And now here's a beautiful time lapse of it fading away. Yay. <laughs> Now here is my set of paintbrushes. I love these Wonder and Waste um, brushes that I have in that plastic thingy. I don't, <laughs> I didn't notice this when I was recording, but there's a Nerf gun bullet on one of the paintbrushes. I don't know how I didn't see that, but <laughs> there are uh, metallic markers. I love those. They're so fun for backgrounds, and I have so many um, sketchbooks, but I'm only going to show you this one because this video will be super long. Uh, this is the watercolor sketchbook. Yes, nailed it. <laughs> now you can just see me flipping through all the ones that I've done so far. I really like this. The paper does m warp. I guess that's how you'd say it. it does warp a lot but it works and for journaling uh i have these really cute stickers and sticky notes there they are look at that i got those at michael's as well michael's is like the happy place <laughs> oh there are, there they are the sticky notes i got those at forever 21 and then more sticky notes which you can find at like walmart and that one came in a really cute set there it is yes in this set, I keep the blending sticks. I have like a pack of these. <laughs> They're so cute. Uh, then it has like all the basic things that I like need for my cork board, for papers and things. So cute. I love it. <laughs> well, I guess that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This video took me the entire day to make, and by the entire day, I mean basically since I woke up, and it's currently f almost 6 o'clock, but 
Thank you guys for watching this video. This video was super fun to make, especially I love how the drawing painting thing turned out. And uh, so many markers, so many art supplies, I love it. <laughs> um, there you can see the fan art that I got from some great people. And thank you guys for the fan art. I love getting fan art, it just makes me so happy. And thank you for being patient and like not, um, I guess, uh, complaining about no videos. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I love you guys. Bye!